Hi there guys, Dana Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Um, just popping on to show you guys how I do a very soft coated Yorkie style face. These guys kind of want a teddy bear style. This Yorkie has ears that are down, not up. So this can be kind of a challenging face for a lot of people. So uh, we're gonna pop on and show you how we go about this. Um, let me flip you guys around. Okay, so we have this little guy here. I've done a half inch on the body, natural legs. Let me get him to stand up quick for you guys. Come on, buddy. This guy's new to me. I've never groomed him before. So this is our first time. This little guy. So uh, key with Yorkie legs is if you can leave them as natural as possible and as little scissoring as possible, the better. And so we've done a half inch body. I've left natural legs just lightly scissored with little round feet. And now we're going to come in and build his head. So this is the previous groomer's groom. So we'll see how this goes. This dog has down ears, not up ears. So we're going to work with that. So I'm going to start with whatever length I did the body, which in this case was a half inch. The key is getting all your clippering in first. Never start your face until no scissoring until your your whatever you're doing, your legs, your body is looking about that 80 to 90% done. So the first stage is to set your head in. Separate head, neck, body, so that you have just your head you're working on. You need to do that with the length you did in the body. So we have our half inch here. So I'm gonna come just to the base of the skull. And I'm really feeling the base of his skull with my clipper. I'm just lightly blending from the top of the head. This dog's very flat on the top of the head. So I know I can come a little bit deeper into the skull and very lightly over top the ears, okay? Then I'm gonna very, uh, I'm gonna wrap right around the back of the ears. I can really feel the back of the ear in the back of the skull with my the side of my clipper. So I'm wrapping right around, okay? We're gonna do that on both sides. What you do to one side, repeat on the other side. So see this hair from the cheek coming through the back? That's what we want to get right now. Clip that off. The key to doing a really nice head is first binding the head. I see a lot of groomers that go in and scissor this head and their neck isn't done, their body's not done. You need to find the head first before you start to clip her. Okay, so we found the back of our head. Now we need to find the front of our head. So I like to come in. This little guy, we're gonna do a bit of a round, sort of Yorkie style face. He's kind of flat on the bottom jaw here. I still like to take out a lot of this. Do you see how there's a second layer under here? We want that gone. So there's the first layer and then it starts to pucker out where Adam's apple is. Okay, this is where it needs to come in and get gone. So I'm gonna come in with my half inch. So I'm lifting up the hair I wanna keep, coming in. And notice I'm not going too wide. If I go right out, we're gonna miss our cheek hair. And I don't wanna do that. I just wanna take out in front of that Adam's apple and blend down into his body. So not too wide, guys. Taking that right out. Now I'm gonna look from side view. And now from a side view, we also want a circle from nose to base of the ear, top of the head. That's the circle we're looking for. So I know I can take a touch off here to create that circle. I barely wanna to touch this. This dog's face was probably very, very short the last time it was groomed because you can tell the muzzle hair, we barely have anything to cut here. So, but I do have a little bit there I can take off, but notice how it's nice and clear and clear underneath. That's because we wrapped around that ear. Does that make sense? So do you see how I'm completely clear underneath? That's why that is, okay? So I'm gonna come in, base the ear. I'm just gonna take a little bit off there. Just saves me a little bit of scissor. What you do to one side, Repeat on the other side. This side's a bit hairier. Coming in, face of the ear, looking for my circle. Coming in, again, we're very clear under here because we wrapped around the ear. Okay, so now we have a very clear head, neck, body. That is what we want, okay? Now I'm gonna decide, okay, how do I set up this head? He's very flat on top, he has a part in the middle. This needs a bit of static spray, guys. So just a light mist above the dog. I don't want a lot of wetness on the hair. Mm -hmm. Very flat. We're going to work with this part. Don't go against the part. If they have a part, work with it, especially in Yorkies. 
So just work with it, okay? You can tell that the, the side head hair was not layered very well. So we're going to leave that there. See, this is, it needs to be layered more. So we're gonna layer that a bit more. I'm gonna just leave that one there. Yeah, let's tie it to the table, actually. Just attach it to that noose there. And it can just hang out on the floor. Okay, so I'm deciding what length to use. I know the top of my head is very flat. So, and I kind of like the shape we're at now. I don't want to go a lot shorter, but I do want to save myself a bit of scissoring. So I'm going to choose to go with a yellow. And the reason I'm going with the yellow is because the head is very flat. If the head had a lot more poof available to it, I'd probably go with a three quarter inch instead. The yellow, I'm gonna lightly go and dust side to side. I'm working with the part. May as well not go against the part. Very lightly. This is just to save myself some scissoring. And now I'm gonna lightly go down the sides of the head. I'm not going full strength. I don't wanna wrap right around the head. What I wanna do is just add a little bit of layering to help set up my scissoring, okay? You see I'm coming flat off. I'm not wrapping around, okay? And you can do this, uh, that same technique if you have a long-faced Yorkie. Let's say you're leaving a more full beard and more of that Westie-style Yorkie face. This guy, we don't have that option because this is already the length of his face. So we're just going to work with it. But if I really wanted to leave a much bigger Yorkie-style face, you can still do this. Just make sure you don't wrap underneath. Just lightly. What it does is layer this side for you, which is going to help us scissor around the eyes. When we get to the eyes, I'll show you what I mean. So we need to layer this side though if you don't want to have this really heavy, heavy overhang. So down the sides, but just straight off. Not wrapping underneath. This is just going to help us layer that, okay? So that's all I'm going to do for clipping this guy's face because we don't have a lot of hair to work with here. Uh, next stage, I'm going to lightly comb up. I want to find his eyes. I'm going to lightly comb up the eye corners. Come in with my thinning shears. I'm just gonna lightly get the eye corners out. Notice my finger hold, I've got chin hair, one finger on top of the head, and I've got my other two fingers against his jaw. This allows me lots of, I can move my fingers, squeeze his muzzle, and move his head around, and I've got full control. I'm allowing him to pant, because he's being a really good little guy, and I don't need him to stop panting right now, so he kind of wants to. But try to think of different ways to hold the faces, and you're gonna have a lot less struggle from your dogs when you're trying to do the faces. Now that I've got the eye corners, I'm just gonna fluff up that little bit between the eyes, and I like to sometimes come this way, and encourage the hair to grow up, and just take little bits out at a time. You can always take more out, so start little, see how you like it. Maybe it needs a little bit more. You don't have to go full strength. You can uh, do little bits at a time. You can always take more out. You just can't put it back on, so gentle. So now that I've got my corners done, I can see his eyes in here. Now comes setting in the sides of his eyes. So I'm gonna comb. That's where layering this side of the head was very, very vital. So I'm gonna actually start with finishing layering the side of my head. Notice how I'm combing. I'm coming underneath the hair and lightly pulling back in a twisting motion. I'll show you that again. I'm going very slow. This hair is so fine, you need to allow it to set. See how he's struggling, but I'm able to keep control because I have, now I've got my three fingers on the top of his muzzle and I'm not even pushing hard or anything. He's able to open his mouth and move his head around. I can switch my hold. Okay, so I'm gonna come in shorter by the ear. I like to come very short by the ear, but then very light in the area. All I'm doing is layering that and just blending that layer. Very light. You could do this with thinning shears as well. If you're not confident with your finishing shears, a thinning shear is a great option as well. I'm looking at that angle to the base of the ear. I'm coming in and setting that line. I like a clear defined head and neck. You don't have to do that, it's optional, but that's my preference. I'm just making sure this is nicely layered and smooth with it being shorter next to the ear. Okay, so once that side's done, what do you do? Repeat on the other side. Let me move this guy forward a little bit. Sit down. 
have all buddy. Okay, ear open. Now I'm gonna do the same technique, lifting that hair up, allowing it to set. And now shorter in front of the ear, so I'm coming quite short in front of that ear. The ear covers this up when you've got a dog whose ears are down. You can take that very short since the ear covers it up and then that way your ear isn't poofing up either. Again, very slow. And now I'm lightly dusting in that head. Remember, we've already layered it with our, with our yellow. So you don't want to go in and take out a whole bunch of length. For those of you that love to over scissor, don't over scissor. We're just, we're just polishing the length that we've already got. Okay. It's really warm in here today, guys. Are you hot? I'm hot too. Okay. So once we've got our sides down, I'm going to reset my ears back down. So you can see that the sides of our head are nice. Now we can come in and start to set this eye. You have to layer just this side part if you want to be able to come in and have an eyebrow that's not going to constantly fall in the dog's face. I know you guys know what I'm talking about when you do these Yorkies and that eye keeps falling into the dog's eyes. This is because you need to layer the sides, okay? Now, like I said, you can just layer the sides. We could have kept a much longer jawline and still done the same technique. So. If you want to do a longer face, you totally can and still use this technique. So I'm pulling all the hair forward. I'm going to come in with my thinning shears and I'm coming in with my tooth side down and my blade side is on the top. Okay, because I want to sweep through this hair with a, with a combing motion, almost like I was going to comb the hair back. Okay, it's the same motion just with my thinning shears. Okay, so again, I'm sweeping back and I'm lightly dusting over where I've already scissored, okay? And I'm pointing my shears to the outside corner of the nose and notice my base is just above the hair where I already scissored, okay? Sweeping back motion. I'll slow that down for you guys. See how I'm sweeping through? I'm very steady, I know exactly where my hand is, but look how that opens the eye up. Can you guys see how that opens that eye up? Okay? And this is gonna prevent all this hair from falling back in the dog's eyes constantly. So you can still have a longer haircut and still have the eyes open and not having that visor constantly fall in. So same thing, this time I'm setting the base of my shear to the outside corner of the nose, the tips of my shears just dusting where I've already scissored, blade side underneath, sorry, tooth side underneath, blade side on top, and sweeping motion. I'll slow it down for you guys, sweeping through. Okay. Let's aim to that outside corner of the nose. But notice how that opens his eyes up and blends it into the sides of the head. What we're left with is almost like a mini mohawk. So we're gonna comb that down. When we aim his head down, see how we've brought the eyes in? Now I'm gonna come with my thinning shears and just go straight up and down. Again, tooth side down, blade side up. And I'm just going straight up and down. Be very careful not to slope the head back. And again, less is more. I'm just going back and forth. With my Yorkies, I like to, this could go for Maltese, any, you know, some Havanese, anything with this very fine drop coat hair. You wanna go layer by layer, allow yourself some leeway because you can always take more off but you can't put it back on so see how we're already opening those eyes up and i've barely taken anything off i'm just going to keep fluffing the hair because remember they've got whiskers in above their eyebrows so you need to kind of go layer by layer so you end up not taking too much off there and leaving a bald spot okay once i feel like the front is looking decent then i like to start to pay attention to the top Again, he's very flat, so we're just going to work with it. So I'm working side to side because he has a part there. I'm not going to try and retrain, in this case, this part. If he had a, a fluffier, more full coat on top, we could probably retrain it. But in this case, we're just going to work with it. Fluffing it up, coming in with my curve shears. Just touching it up. I'm still leaving a little fluff. Okay, you see? 
And now, when I aim his head down, and I comb this all forward, I want to check how it's falling into his eyes. And I like to come in with my curve shears and just touch it up. I want to take a little bit more out of the bridge of his nose. I prefer to leave more weight and hold it down, but the previous groomer has gotten rid of that, so we're going to just work with it. Okay, so that's our top of our head, our sides of our head are done. So now we got to work with our muzzle. This is a boy, so we're going to leave him a bigger mustache on the front. But see how we have this nose hair that's growing out. So my guess is the bridge of his nose was shaved last time just from the length and how long it's been. I don't know, this is the first time grooming him for me. Um, so I prefer we're gonna let this grow out because we need weight to hold this down. What we could do is in the bath, he's got some whiskers in here. You can see a couple black whiskers in there. Um, that's also holding this up oddly. Uh, what we could do is in the bathtub when he's wet and all those whiskers are poking out, we could trim all those, which would help this not poof out so much. So just notes you can take for next time to improve the groom. But if I let this grow out, the weight of it's gonna hold it down eventually. So we gotta let that grow out. So we're gonna look at him from a side view. Now we're looking at our jawline. I'm gonna come in with my thinning shears, tooth side up this time, blade side down. And I'm just coming along the jawline, aiming base of the ear to the nose in an arc. So I'm gonna start my angle down straight. So I like to think of, instead of doing a circle, I'm doing a V, okay? So I'm gonna do my first angle of the V. Stay bad. Straight down. So from the nose down. And I'm just combing through with the comb side of my thinning shears. That's gonna help wrap that underneath. Now I'm gonna do the other side of my V, up to the base of the ear, same thing. Very lightly. Then all I have to do is take off the point of the V, okay? Again, I'm combing through the hair with the comb side of my shears, just the bottom two millimeters. I don't wanna layer this muzzle hair too much, otherwise it's not gonna be heavy enough to stay down. It's just gonna fly up all the time, okay? What we do to one side, we need to repeat on the other side. So again, we're gonna make that V shape, cut there, cut there, and then take our, our point of our V off. So straight up and down, combing through with the comb side of my thinning shears. Same angle this way. And now take the point of your V off. This is how you make sure that you end up with symmetrical faces that you don't end up taking too much off. And especially with this kind of hair, I know it can be super frustrating. And sometimes we like to get in there and over scissor and over scissor and then you end up just taking it shorter and shorter and shorter. Okay, now we gotta look at the front to make sure everything's symmetrical and matching. So I'm gonna comb it out. I can see a bit here, it needs to be blended in. He's panting a bit, so we gotta stop him from panting. Make sure you're not scissoring your faces when they're panting too much. We gotta move quick, cause he's hot. Now you guys that work in the hot places, it's really hard. Coming down this side, and now I'm gonna check him from the front view. You can see we have one side that's a bit longer. And I am famous for leaving this side longer. It's just my tricky side, but I still do it just layer by layer because otherwise I take it too short. So you just gotta know your own weaknesses too, okay? Now for the front, I like to set my finger on top of the nose and my thumb just right in his mouth, just so lightly, guys. This is a really light, I'm just setting it right on his bottom teeth there. And then that way I can fluff this out, but because we clipped all this out, look how easy it is for us to scissor under here home side sweeping through again. Any of these very fine drop coated breeds think of sweeping through the hair as if you were combing it but with the comb side of your thinning shear. This is a wonderful wonderful technique to blend everything well and make a very gentle soft result because this coat we all know can leave horrible lines. Again we are going to grow this out so that we get that weight right into his mustache. Okay. That's our cute little Yorkie face. Our last step that I always teach you is aim that head down, comb out, look from a top view. Anything that's not matching, scissor it in. Again, sweeping through with the comb side of your thinning shears.
But see how you need to finish with this top view? So you're going to be able to see everything that's poking out. Okay, look at the top view from the other side. Fluff out. And then I can comb through. We got our cute little Yorkie face here. I'm Dana Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. I hope uh, those tips were helpful for you guys and we're coming into Friday. So almost the end of the week, guys. We'll talk soon and we'll probably be back this afternoon with something else too. Thanks, guys.